Man, we had Sugar Sean O'Malley versus Chris Mutino. And man, this fight, this fight turned into be a really exciting fight. In fact, it actually got the fight of the night performance bonus by Dana White. Shout out to those two guys for that, man. But this was cool because obviously Shane, or excuse me, obviously uh, with Sean, he is a guy that you know, it's very charismatic, right? Big personality and is super exciting when he's in the octagon. And we know he was going to be fighting Chris, who was taking the fight on short notice, his first UFC fight. Not a lot of, you know, that people knew about him. And obviously, you know, from Vegas standpoint that uh, Sean was the, what, thousand to one favorite in this fight. So, I mean, crazy underdog, the biggest dog on the car and things like that. So the fight starts and Sean comes out and he's looking spectacular as he always does early in fights. The highlight reel kicks, he was going for the dribble, dribble, punching, like air dribbling and going for the punches and stuff like that because he said that this knockout was going to be for the Phoenix Suns where obviously he lives and obviously the Phoenix Suns are playing the NBA championship right now, NBA finals. So you can see that Sean was really trying to play into the crowd for that, but Chris was game, man. So you see Sean kicking him in the head, punch him in the head, elbow him in the head. I mean, he hits this kick crazy. I mean, throughout the whole fight, actually, Sean lands at like, I believe it was 80% or more of his punches, which is insane in terms of uh, his strikes landed. Um, I think he had a record actually for the significant strikes that he landed. I mean, the dude, Chris was a human punching bag, but he would not go down. I mean... In the first, right at the end, probably like the last 10 seconds, Sean is able to hurt him, and he drops him. And then from there, you see Sean actually run up on him and try to put a, a guillotine on him, but time runs out. But the thing that I just kept noticing with Chris, man, he would not stop coming forward. He would put, he would continue to put pressure on Sean, and you could tell at the end of the fight, Sean got tired, man. Sean would continue to look up at the clock throughout these first two rounds, and he would check it periodically because you could see him saying to himself, like, man, I'm hitting this kid with everything I have, and he's not going down, and this kid is not getting tired. And obviously, when you're fighting, having to back up that long and still be that active, it will zap your gas tank, man. But as a whole, I thought that Sean looked great, man. So dynamic, so versatile, so fluid in his motion. I mean, even though Chris was pressuring him, he never allowed himself to get into significant danger because of his footwork, because of him just being very slick and just showing that octagon, you know, ring generalship, as we like to call it in boxing and stuff. But I wasn't a fan of one thing in the fight, and that was my man Herb Dean. At the end, man, third round, 30 seconds left in the fight, he stops the fight. Now, if we're talking about the optics of it, well, Herb could have stopped that in the first round if that was the case because Sean was touching Chris up. I mean, it was to a point where it was just like, all right, his face is battered. Is getting gory, but Chris is still moving forward. But he's taking a ton of shots, ton of head damage. If you're that concerned about that from a, a, a you know health and safety standpoint, you should have just stopped it in the first. But to allow him to go through three rounds of this, and you're seeing how tough this kid is. You're seeing that he's still throwing punch, still defending him, still, still very much in the fight. For him to stop it like that, and it wasn't even as if Sean had this crazy flurry going on, that part was a little bit disheartening because Chris had more than earned the right to finish that fight without it being a stoppage like that. So I wasn't a fan of that, but as a whole, man, awesome performance by Sean. And for Chris, I want to see him fight again now. I mean, I, I know he's tough as nails. I know he has you know some crazy power in his hands. You can see him throwing some insane hooks. Obviously, he's going to need a little bit more skill development here, man. But I want, I'm interested to see him fight again, man, because he has a ton of heart, ton of heart. And for Sean, well, hey, man, keep the hype chain rolling. Now, Sean did call out my dog, Cody Garbrandt. Whew. Whew. I would love to see it, man. I would love to see that. He also called out Dom Cruz as well, man. So it's going to be interesting to see what is next for Sean because very talented, but still very much unproven untested so we're gonna have to get him in there with some some higher pedigree guys to see how he could perform against those guys but so far so good for sean man so i appreciate you for tuning in let me know your thoughts on that fight though and who you want to see sean fight next but until next time baby peace